a lot of people have tried working on residential energy upgrades, and it's a really difficult part of the market to address. And that's because there's so many different decision makers out there. The real estate market has really undervalued the benefit of energy efficiency upgrades. The same way adding a, a kitchen or a bathroom would increase the value of your home, adding a, a highly energy efficient uh, HVAC system should, should increase the value of your home as well. The problem of solving energy in homes is complicated and no one solution works by itself. So by bringing the different teams together, we hope to find new solutions, new combinations. About half of Americans say they've done between one and three things to make their homes more energy efficient. And the vast majority of those people say, you know what, my utility bills went up and not down. We're literally seeing not only declining interest in energy efficiency upgrades, but declining action. We bought this home about six months ago and it was our first home we'd ever purchased and we have not done a home energy upgrade. One of the things we definitely enjoyed about the house outright was the, the natural daylight, the fact that it was in a really beautiful natural setting, and it just seemed like a really great spot to raise a family. In spite of all the benefits, there were a few major things that we knew needed to be done. One of them the windows, and then the other being the boiler and the mechanical system. It's four or $5,000 for a boiler replacement alone for that system. Then you look at the windows and that's a big ticket item as well. So these costs start to stack up. So the one upgrade we have made is uh, this fan here. It's a really high efficiency fan and it does a great job of, of moving air in the summer and, and keeping this house cool. We know we should and we want to eventually do a home energy upgrade because we want our home to be safer, more comfortable uh, and just overall better stewards of this mountain environment we live in and, and we love. A lot of the technologies are out there already. A lot of the solutions are out there already. But we want to bring this spark to catalyze all the, all the good efforts that are happening and create some new ones. By having those great people in the room together, we can actually get started on the work of those partnerships and building collaborations between those people. I think what's really interesting here is we've got a lot of people with really valuable data and information that can help formulate the conversation in a way that is going to promote homeowners to ask their contractors, hey, what do you think about energy efficiency products and services, and can we build that into what we're doing? This home was intended by us when we first imagined it to be a gathering place for family and friends. There's clearly something about the setting and the home itself that that people find healing, I suppose, is the best way to put it. But it just is a, is a wonderful feeling and fulfilling to us to be living in a house that's taking advantage of the sun to gain a significant portion of its energy. My fairly expensive hot water heater with a heat exchanger system inside sprung a leak prematurely and it was about a $4,000 repair. And so I decided at that point to take a look at solar thermal. It was about a $10,000 project with a roughly $5,000 rebate, a 30% federal tax credit, and then I immediately started saving money on energy costs as well. I feel good about taking a bath or a shower with sunlight-derived energy instead of propane. The bumps in the road with adjusting the system were minor by comparison to the upside of a system that just continues saving me money going forward. husband and I discovered this property in 1987. In 2011, my husband got ill and he needed to have some special care. In order for him to come home, it needed some work. This is where we begin to make money with this amazing system that the solar guy put together. This is where we are saving energy and selling back to the power company. I'm really glad I made the changes. We've been here about uh, 10 years. We bought the home new, but recently that the air conditioner broke and we needed to replace it. We were able to get a more efficient air conditioner and uh, also we were able to make some improvements here to uh, put zones in our home to make it more comfortable for us. But as we were going through that discussion, we started wondering whether solar might make good sense for us. And we realized we're gonna be able to completely offset all of our electric bill. We were able to do all of this without any money coming out of our pocket initially. 
Because it's on our property tax bill, we get a tax advantage because we can write off some of that on our taxes. Our home was the first one in the neighborhood with solar panels, and now I think there are like six or seven. So I guess you can say we're trendsetters. <laughs> Years ago when I first started this passion of mine of learning about green construction and energy efficiency, we were all in silos and no one talked to the appraiser and no one wanted to talk to the appraiser. We are all talking to each other and we're trying to work together for the common good of the public. We can actually make our building stock give us more of what we want out of a home and become more attractive and make our communities more desirable places to be. When we make it easier for consumers to make upgrades, we're making a big difference in our energy economy, but also in the world as, as a whole. You know, I've, I've heard people ask the question, how do we engage consumers in deep retrofits? And I think the question that we should be asking is, is it a deep retrofit we want, or is it a journey that we want them to take?